this all together, it's 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34, which is the number. And if you'll also look, I forgot to mention this, these students just have a bowl with all different numbers already written down and they're just drawing them out and writing them themselves. That's a great thing to do if you just need extra practice and you don't have to have anyone there for you with that. Um, you can work up to three digit numbers in the hundreds place if you wanna challenge yourself and feel confident in that. But if not, no worries. We will stick with our two digit numbers and our ones and our tens place right now. Okay, so the last part of this lesson is the assessment. Now, if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, Miss Miranda, that's the exact same assessment that we just took. And it is very, very similar, but the numbers are changed. And I'm feeling so much more confident in y'all now that we can answer this number four question, which is one that I didn't quite go over in the beginning because I think we needed to work through some things before we were able to understand this question, what it's asking of us and be able to work it out. So I'm just going to quickly go over this assessment with y'all before y'all take it and turn it into me. So of course, at the beginning, put your name, we always do that. And then question number one says to show two different ways to represent the number 42. Now we've went through this and I'm pretty sure on the first assessment, all of y'all got this right which is awesome. You know how to do this. Feel confident in yourself and your answer and it's right. So you can show two different ways to write this number. And then number two is the same question, but just with a different number. It says show two different ways to represent the number 16. So I know that y'all know how to do those two. You're going to do great on them. Just do your thing there, kids. On number three, it says write the value of the underlined digit. So our whole number is 73. And if you'll look, the underlined digit is three. Now I'm not going to tell you what place it's in because I'd be giving away the answer, but all you have to do on that one is write the value of that underlined three in the number 73. And then our last question is question number four, and it says, Miss Monroe needs to buy 25 Christmas ornaments for her students. She can buy packs of 10 ornaments and single ornaments. What are the ways she can buy the ornaments? I know that says markers. I need to go and change that. I'm sorry, but it will say ornaments when you get the official assessment. So then there's a chart and it says, packs of 10 ornaments and single ornaments. So what we need to do on this one is understand that packs of 10 ornaments is equal to 110 in our numbers. And then the singles, one, two, three, four, five, those are all single markers, but it gives us five of them when we buy five at one time. Packs of 10 ornaments, if we buy one pack of 10 ornaments, we just have 10 ornaments. If we buy two packs of 10 ornaments, we'll have, hopefully y'all got that right and understand this question. And I think y'all have such a better understanding for this now. And are gonna be able to answer this one much more accurate, accurately than before. And I also just wanna point out to this, cause I think several of y'all got confused on this on our past assessment. On the single ornaments, it can be more than five. I know that our number ends in a five, so a lot of people got stuck because they thought, well, if it ends in a five, there can only be five singles. No, 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 we can have much more single ornaments than that. So just keep that in mind when you're answering that last question. I know y'all are gonna do great on this now. And just good luck on that assessment. And I cannot wait to see all y'all's improvement. Bye.